Um, we're talking about the astronauts that are coming back from space <laughs> yeah, and yeah. the effects that that has on aging and, and yeah. um, that I don't think people realize of no. just how detrimental and how tough that is. And I guess it's a great business opportunity. <laughs> someone can ever figure that out. Well, so I think about this a lot because Dr. Gada Al Saleh, who runs the UK's only space innovation lab, is one of my advisors, and I was just in her lab today. I mean, it's really cool. She's got a, a you know, a live link to the International Space Station, so I can see the guys at the space station, and they've got the the experiment, you know, the boxes with the experiments in there. Um, but a few years ago when the space innovation lab was started or opened at the university of oxford um, james green who used to be the chief scientific officer for the for nasa's mission to mars presented and he said uh, one of the first things that needs to be built on the moon when we have space tourism is hospitals and I thought, wait, wait a second. <laughs> I thought this was supposed to be like, you know, Star Trek. They can just scan us and, you know, Scotty can just, you know, fix us immediately with something that looks like an iPhone. And he said, actually, people don't understand how tough it is to go into space. We age exponentially. Certain parts of the body age much faster than, um, than other parts of the body. And one part that ages much faster is the immune system.